By request, kick ass facts, piercings part three. Pew, 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 pew. Let's move further south. Pew, 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 pew. To the navel. In ancient Egypt, the navel piercing was a sign of royal status. Only the pharaoh was allowed to have his navel pierced, and anyone else found with this piercing would be executed. Skipping forward generations. When bikinis came into fashion, the navel was at first considered scandalous because, believe it or not, of its similarity to the vagina. <laughs> I just fucking can't sometimes, honestly. The piercing and showing off the belly button remained fairly taboo, at least until the 1990s, when Christy Turlington stepped onto the runway with a belly button piercing in 1993. Naomi Campbell amped up the trend by adding a chain belt, which linked to her navel ring. We're going to head even further downtown with genital piercing. The beginnings of clitoral piercings are generally unknown, but the history of male genital piercing is pretty well documented. As you could probably imagine, using photographs in this part of our presentation will probably lead to a community guidelines violation, so use your imagination. In ancient Greece, foreskin piercings would be tied with a thong to the base of the penis to keep the genitals out of the way during sport and combat. This is how I imagined they would move. It was also used to keep slaves from having sex in both Greece and Rome. Apodravia. I hope they pronounced that right, piercings are mentioned in the Kama Sutra and dated back to 700 AD, while the Palang, a piercing made across the surface of the glands, has been practiced in Southeast Asia for hundreds of years. In Borneo, the Palang symbolizes the protective power of a man over his family, but both piercings are used for sexual pleasure. You'll have to Google them. Guiche, I think, piercing originated in Polynesia and was typically done by a mahu or well-respected man who dressed as a woman. This is a body piercing through the perineum. After the piercing healed, a shell or rock would be hung from it. The Prince Albert piercing was supposedly named for Queen Victoria's husband. The popular legend claims that he had it done before their marriage in 1825, apparently to conceal the unsightly bulge in his fashionably tight trousers. The myth further states that the piercing attached to a hook on the inside of his pants, but none of this is found to be true. And let's talk now about Elaine Davidson. She holds the world record for most pierced woman. When examined by a Guinness World Record official in May 2000, she had 462 piercings, with 192 in her face alone. I have, like, earrings that are a little heavy that I can only wear for a couple hours at a time. I cannot, like, 192... By August 2001, when she was re-examined, she was found to have 720 piercings. As of 2003, she had more piercings in her genitalia than in any other part of her body, 500 in all, externally and internally. The total weight of her internal piercings is estimated to be about 3 kilograms. In 2005, The Guardian reported that she had 3,950 body piercings. As of February 2009, her piercings totaled 6,005. And as of January 2019, she has 11,003 body piercings.